Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel because in this episode, I'm going to do a collaboration. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be doing a collaboration with Matt Wyeth. He's a young Australian blacksmith, just started off with YouTubing, just getting his smithy going and all that kind of thing. So we had a bit of a conversation and said, uh, let's do a collaboration together, what should we do? We decided we're going to make some tongs. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this piece of 20 millimeter, that's three quarter inch, round black mild steel, make tongs out of those all the time. I'm going to take it over to the forge, you're going to cut 16 inches off of it, and then I'm going to do a jaw and a nib and all that kind of thing on one end, do a jaw and all that kind of business on the other end. I'll leave the middle of it like that. That's going to be Matt's part. He'll be doing that. And then I'm going to finish that up for him, post it off. He's going to finish them off and he's going to get himself a set of tongs. Fantastic. Let's get over there and start smacking on it right now.
So, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of that forging. And what I've made is a double-ended tong blank for Matt. And uh, what I've done to it is I've uh, forged out the nibs, the hinge plates, and parts of the rein. I've duplicated that on the other end. All Matt has to do now, and here's a tip for anybody that's never done a double-ended forging on a piece of bar like this, is to find the center of mass. And how I typically do that is I balance it on my finger, like that. That's the center of mass there, make a mark, chop them off. That way you know you, when you draw those reins out or you work on the center part, you'll have equal amounts of mass both sides, rather than measuring and just chopping it in the measured center. Because what happens then, if these two forgings here aren't exactly in the same place, you'll end up with more on one side than the other. So there's a little tip for you. So what Matt has to do with it now, punch the eye out uh, for the rivet, and then he has to draw out the reins, tidy it all up, get it all together, rivet it, and, and get it the way he wants it. These are just a standard set of flat nibs, that's, that's what he wanted. So all I've got to do with it now, put a bit of bubble wrap around it, put it in my little tube, send it off uh, via the post office, Matt will be receiving that fairly soon, and then he's going to do his part. This video goes up on a Saturday, his video is going to go up the next day on a Sunday, where you'll be able to see him finishing those tongs off. I'd encourage everybody to duck over to Matt's, go and have a look. I'll put a link in the description below to his channel so you can find out where that is and see how he is beginning his journey in blacksmithing and on YouTubing because he hasn't made all that many videos. He's improving every day, got a great little channel, uh, a really, really nice guy. So I'd encourage everybody to go over there and have a look. Uh, that's what I'll be doing. I'm chomping at the bit to see what he's going to do with that tongue blank. I can't wait. So good luck with that, Matt. Thanks everybody else for watching. We'll see you later.